What's up y'all, this is Dominic with Port Pumper Society. I'm at a property today. Looks like we have two houses on one system. All I can see right now is the clean outs, they're holding water, so I'm assuming it's clogged up on the inlet baffle. So I'm gonna figure out where this tank is, dig it up, get it unclogged, and get these customers back and flowing. If this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell that lets you know when I upload a new video. And if you want to check out any of the tools I use in my videos, you can check the description box down below. Those are affiliate links, so they help out me and they help out the channel. And without further ado, let's get the pump. So we got the clean out and it tank's just right here looks like it's been recently dug up so pop these open and see what exactly our problem is that is pretty thick So got the inlet and got the outlet right here ready to pop open and this one has a filter haven't seen one of these in a while but that is an outlet filter so you can see all that nice gunk built around there all that potentially could have gone out to the drain field so it's a good thing we've got this filter on the outlet baffle here now before I remove this I'm gonna pump down the tank because I don't want all this working its way out through the drain field so I'm gonna pump it down pull it out clean it and then put it back in I hear a lot of different recommendations on when to clear these out um, usually it's about twice a year but it all just depends I mean however much water is being used it's gonna affect how much is being push through that filter and getting stuck on that filter. So I'm gonna get my hoses ready and get this all pumped out, get the filter cleaned, and this customer should be good to go.
So we got both the inlet and the outlet side of the tank pumped down and rinsed off. We got the outlet filter cleaned and this customer should be good to go for the next three to five years. Now I have not come across too many outlet filters in my area. I'm in the hill country of central Texas, but they do have their pros and they do have their cons. So the cons is similar to this situation. The outlet filter plugged up because the homeowner was not cleaning it. So eventually it backed up into the home. Now the biggest pro and the main reason these outlet filters are installed is to prevent the carryover of the floating solids out to the drain field. These are a great and relatively cheap addition to your septic tank to make sure that you get the full life out of your drain field. But I can't stress enough, you want to make sure you keep these things clean because if nothing is going out to your drain field, the only place left to go is up your clean out or up into your house. And that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I upload a new videos. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Just search up Poor Pumper Society. I should be there. And if you have any questions about your septic system or just want to know something else, drop it down in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Catch you next time.